Okay, so I'm going to make the uh, quick 3D on ball smaller. No need to look at all the options right at the moment. Okay, I wanted for this movie, and it, and it depends on the vision of the movie maker, what you're going to do. I want this video, which is the ball spinning, to move around while SpongeBob is walking. Okay, so you can do that with wax. You're not just stuck with one position. Okay, so we come back here to uh, Ball Quick 3D. We have these position parameters here. But right now, they're just on the first frame and every frame thereafter, so that the ball stays the same. So let's let's see if we can adjust these here. You can animate in Wax 2.0, where things your video second video changes position or size or rotation or, or anything you can do here. You can animate it. I mean, you can make it go from one spot to another to another during your video. Okay, so for this video, we want to have the ball move around, or the animation of the ball. You, you can move any animation around during the video. Right now, the ball is static. It's in one place. And we chose that place by going position X, Y, and Z. That's where the ball is for the whole timeline sequence it's the same so if you make a change you need a keyframe a keyframe right now we have the initial frame is the keyframe everything's the same you make a change that frame up here the, the blue marks show different frames that frame will be changing from whatever the last one was and every change you make thereafter needs a keyframe. Okay, so this this ball is in a static position as far as position goes, right? So anywhere during the video it stays in the same place and the video stuff moves behind it. Okay, to, to make a change of its position as the video progresses, you got to enter a keyframe at the point of progress in the video timeline you want the change to happen. Okay, this shows how the keyframe goes over here, the keyframing mode thing. So we're going to change position X. So right now if there's no keyframing, we don't want linear because then it would move the ball instantaneously from one point to the other and make a jerky movement. No, we want smooth. So now the keyframing is set up to go from one place to the other smoothly. We also want Y to be keyframe. And it's going to go smoothly. So here's the first keyframe and it's worth position now. So say at this point of the movie we want the ball to drift down here. Maybe we'll have it drift around in front of a crazy SpongeBob. So it'll look like he's hypnotized and led by the ball, perhaps. Okay, so at about this point, we want the ball to drift down this far. 